Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. Um, I am again cooking through the O Taste and See Volume 1 cookbook. Um, and I've got a sink full of dishes because I've got two um, dishes back there that I've already started working on. Um, afternoon kids coming in and out of the house, so you just have to bear with the noise. Sorry. Um, I've got um, poppy seed chicken. Uh, Miss Donna's poppy seed chicken and sweet bean, sweet green beans. So um, the oven actually just went off for those to get put in. So I'm fixing to, I'll put those in the oven and then um, I've already made a strawberry pie for dessert tonight. And um, then we'll get working on our bread. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. And I will link a um, a uh, the videos to these two recipes and the strawberry pie to the bread recipe. Um, these both go in for 45 minutes. Oh, okay, so those both go in for 45 minutes, so it's perfect to cook them both at the same time. Um, just grab them, get them ready to go, and then get them cooking in the uh, in the oven all at the same time and then everything's ready all at, all at once. And I always like to make my bread to last because um, then it's all warm and everybody loves warm bread. So um, I am doing uh, Miss Rhonda's uh, recipe for easy French bread and it calls for two cups of hot water. Uh, here, let's go down here and start cooking. Um, it calls for two cups of hot water and uh, two packages of instant yeast. Um, I buy my yeast in a bulk, so I put it in one of these little containers and put it in to the freezer. Um, I love making bread, but this is the first time I've made this bread. So it calls for two packages of yeast, um, which is about two and a half um, teaspoons of yeast. So I'm going to put five teaspoons of yeast into the water, and this is a half a teaspoon, so I gotta count at 10, so bear with me. And I think a little bit more yeast in there is not gonna not gonna kill you. Um I'll just give that a quick stir, kinda get that all go in okay and then a little bit I never know if it's supposed to be lumpy or if you're supposed to mix it up like this or how you're supposed to do it so this is how I'm doing it that's how I always do it um so I'm gonna set this aside and let that do its thing um okay so it says combine sugar salt butter and two cups of flour in here so we're gonna add that i don't know what's up with the half cup measuring cups but i'm gonna have two cups of flour in here and i'm fixing to switch this out to a full cup hold on just a second so that's one cup that way easier math okay so that's a cup of flour and it didn't specify um bread flour all-purpose flour whatever so i'm using uh all-purpose flour is what i have in this container so i've got the flour and i need two tablespoons of sugar in there and i've used all my tablespoons oh i hate when i do that so Half a tablespoon, so sugar, two tablespoons, got half a cup or half a tablespoon, so that's one, two, three, four. I can count, y'all. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put the sugar in there, and then I need a tablespoon of salt as well. So let me get my salt. that I needed that. So I've got a big thing of um, 
of salt that I usually keep handy and I need a tablespoon of that. So that's a half a tablespoon. There you go. So um, it does not say if it should be, the butter should be soft or frozen, or not frozen, but soft or melted. Um, so I don't really know how I'm gonna put that in there, but um, that's two tablespoons of butter. So, I don't know, I feel weird just dropping that in there. But, and then it says to mix it, and I'm gonna use my hands, cause I can break up the butter a little bit if I do that. I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna use my hands, hold on. I'm working on the fly. I've cooked so much today that I've used all my, all my utensils, so. Um, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate that butter to where, you know, Ooh. excuse you, Chester. That was our, um, service dog. He's getting old and old dogs make noises that, you know, you don't think that they should make or something. I don't know. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to, maybe I should have melted that. I don't know, that just seems weird. Okay, it says mix well and then add the yeast water. So that's starting to bubble, look at that. I've never actually watched it start bubbling like that. Um, it doesn't say wait any length of time so it just says add it in there so maybe that'll melt with that warm water the hot water that'll melt the the butter a little bit i don't know so we're going to stir this up get it nice and mixed well Y'all, this recipe seems really easy. All you do is you add all this stuff, and then you add the four remaining cups of flour, and then you knead dough every 10 minutes for an hour. So, um, I'm going to, and then you bake it. So, this is actually perfect timing because this takes about an hour to, um, for everything to rise and come together and, do all that and then I can pull my um, food out of the oven. I guess I did that backwards. I should have done the bread first. Anyways, pull the food out of the oven and then put my bread in the oven and uh, let it cook. We're having a late dinner tonight anyway, so um, we usually have late dinner on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know why, but uh, so we do. So it works. And the beans and the, um, the only, this only takes 30 minutes, 35 minutes to um, cook. So, uh, you know, the uh, beans and the um, other will be perfect. This is not melting and or mixing up very well. I don't like that, but. I don't know, maybe that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe it's kind of like a pie crust and that's, it just gets, makes it real flaky on the inside, I don't know. Okay, so that says to do that and then add six cups of flour to that. So that's one, or I'm sorry, the rest of the six cups, that'll be four. So that's one, two, three and four. So you're doing a total of six cups of flour. And then it doesn't say to cover it, but I've always covered my bread, even with a, a like a dish towel. So, but it doesn't say to cover it, so I'm not gonna cover it. I'm just gonna let it be and we'll see what it does. Um, if you've ever made this French bread, easy French bread by Miss Rhonda, 
Um, or if you are Miss Rhonda, this is a 20 year old cookbook, so I'm not sure. Um, I've never met Miss Rhonda. She may not even be with us anymore. I don't know, but um, uh, if you know her or have, have ever had this recipe, then let me know if I'm doing it right or if I butchered it or, you know, what I did, because I'm not sure. Um, I love making bread. I like making different kinds of bread, and um, I try to be adventurous and with my bread and make make different things, but sometimes um, it doesn't turn out. Sometimes it turns out really good. I don't know. I like making um, like cinnamon rolls, and sometimes you just got to get in here with your hands, um, stir it up. Uh, I like making cinnamon rolls and um, make challah and uh, just regular rolls, and I make a one-hour bread that um, I actually put into the new cookbook from the church um, because I wasn't here, wasn't at our church 20 years ago. Um, and so, but I was gifted this cookbook by my um, cousin-in-law for our wedding shower. And so um, there's several recipes in here that I have made before. But there's some in here that I've never made before. So um, I'm on this journey of cooking through the church's cookbook and um, seeing, you know, how it does. Coming up with finding new recipes that our family might like. And um, like the poppy seed chicken that I made for dinner tonight, our family loves that recipe. Um, we eat it all the time. Um, I cook it at least once a month. Um, the, the green beans is new and the um, strawberry pie that I made earlier is new and this seems kind of dry and not all of it is getting incorporated so I don't know um, but uh, I'm not sure so we'll see how this does and I don't know we'll see so, uh, I'll see y'all back in about, well, I won't come back every time we, I need it. So, I'll just come back like halfway through and at the end and we'll need it and work through it together. Talk to you later. Okay, guys. Um, so, this is about halfway through the um, kneading time. Um, and so, I've... Every 10 minutes, I've been kneading this. Um, <laughs> baby woke up from her nap, so. Um, but it kind of incorporated really well together. And I think, I need to check the, hold on, sit here. I need to check the recipe, but I think that um, I'm supposed to let this, <laughs> yeah, that's bread. You like bread, don't you? Um, I lost the page that it was on. Check my notes. Um, it's really close. Um, so I think I was supposed to need it. Okay, hold on. It says to, here, it says to, um, every 10 minutes for an hour. So, and it's been about 30 minutes now. Um, so I'm trying to knead with one hand and the baby on the hip. So, um, pray for me. Um, <laughs> but seriously, um, I'm just gonna roll this around just a little bit. You can't have this. You can't have this yet. We'll eat it when it's done. I promise you. So, if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to knead one-handed and a baby on the hip, let me know. So I'm going to um, put this back in the bowl, let it rest for 10 minutes, because it says every, all right, hey, can you drink of this? 
It says every 10 minutes. Um, need it every 10 minutes for an hour. So, um, like I said, this is about 30 minutes in. Uh, this is what it looks like. So, I'm going to let it... Well, there you go. I'm going to let it um, rest for another 10 minutes and then I'll knead it again. And um, I'll do that two more times if she doesn't eat it all. I'll do that two more times and then um, we'll let it rest for 35 minutes. And then we will bake or let it rest. Let it, let it rest for 30 minutes and then we'll bake it uh, for 35 minutes in a 375 oven. I'm not sharing this bread, it's just getting eaten by our family, so it's okay that she's double dipping. All right, okay guys, so um, my dough is ready to um, be divided, I already divided it, um, but it's ready to kind of roll out a little bit and put on my cookie sheet, and then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Um, this says to bake it in a French loaf pan I do not have a French loaf pan so I'm just kind of kind of shape it bread's bread right so I'm gonna kind of shape it into a, a loaf like so it's gonna have it's got cracks it's imperfect but that's okay I'm gonna put it on my cookie sheet and kind of roll it a little bit kind of form it a little bit um, it doesn't say to put an egg wash on it or uh, butter or anything like that. So I'm just going to let it cook. It doesn't even say to slit it. Normally, whenever I make um, my breads, I will put a slit in it so that it doesn't split. Um, but this is kind of, I know it's kind of all bumpy anyway. So I'm just going to cook it like this and see, see what it does. So the oven is preheated to 350. I'm not gonna put any uh, egg wash or uh, butter or anything like that on the um, on the bread, and we'll just stick it in the oven and see how it goes. Hey guys, so the dish fairy never came, um, <laughs> so but my bread timer's fixing to go off, so I'm gonna pull it out of the oven, um, and I just pulled it out just a little bit ago and put some butter on it just to see what it looked like um i'm not sure if i did something i'm probably sure i did something wrong because the bread doesn't look exactly right but bread's bread and it probably tastes amazing so um i'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the oven um and i'm actually gonna reheat the um beans and the uh poppy seed chicken um just a little bit because um jeremy's on his way home and so he'll be here in about 10 minutes or so so i'm gonna pop those back into the oven really quick um and so everything will be nice and warm for him um when he gets here and i don't know maybe the dish fairy will come probably not but you know there's always hoping so i just got the bread out of the oven um, not wearing a, my apron, but, um, I just got my bread out of the oven and look at this y'all. See, I don't know. Like I said, I probably did something wrong. I know that I didn't shape it right. It kind of looks like a giant, um, biscuit. Uh, just kind of the way they, it's sitting up like that, but I'm going to see if I can do this. And put this on the wire rack without too much hassle here. Oh, I'm gonna put over that lip. Go over there, little baby. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to drop it on the floor. I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna put a little bit more butter on it and um and see, you know, let's just kind of hold your butter, you know, with your wrapper and kind of rub some butter on it. I really, it smells really, really good. So I really, really want to um, cut a piece of this and eat it, but I won't, not just yet. 
Um, I'll wait for Jeremy and the kids if I have to. But, um, you know, like I said, bread's bread. It may not look pretty, but it's just us eating it, so it's not a big deal. Um, and, and again, like I said, I, I probably did something wrong. I don't know. If you've done this recipe before, comment down below and let me know what I did. Or if you make bread all the time, comment down below and let me know what I did. Um, I like making bread. I'm not like a super duper bread maker. Um, I do, I almost said this a while ago, but um, I do make a one hour bread that is really good. It's really simple. It takes exactly one hour from beginning to end to make the bread. Um, and we'll see how this compares because it's kind of similar, but a little bit different. So just uh, let me know what you think.